The research spells it out. More millennials are waiting to get married, even here in Utah, where members of the Mormon faith typically marry younger than most of young adults in other states. In part two of our series on millennials and marriage, I'll look at what's behind the new love-wait relationship, as it's being called, and the recent trend to put off saying I do. Joining me is Dr. Brian Willoughby, an expert on young adult relationships and associate professor at Brigham Young University and author of The Marriage Paradox. It's great to meet you. Great to have you. It's great to be here. A lot of moms and grandmas kind of concerned I know with these yep. changing statistics, so put us at ease here, but give us a scope about what's happening, what you're seeing in the research, and what you think it means. Right, so the big thing we're seeing is that the marriage rate has been slowly decreasing, and in particular, the age of marriage has been increasing. Um, a couple decades ago, people were marrying in their early to mid-20s, and now it's almost 30 for both women and men. At the same time, young adults are still saying they want to get married. They still say it's important to them. And so we, me and other researchers, have been trying to figure out what is behind that. Why are they saying they want to get married, but they're still not? I think that's an important distinction right. to make. They're still engaged in the idea yes. of marriage and committed yes. to commitment. Yes, sometimes we think that that delaying of marriage means they don't care about marriage anymore, and that, that's not true. They keep saying they want to get married. The numbers in Utah a little different than what we're seeing across the country. Explain what you are seeing in those trends. Yeah, so we see in Utah that the age is certainly earlier. People are are still getting married earlier, but the trend is still the same. And so we're still seeing a slight delay in marriage year after year in Utah, just like we see in the United States. It's just a little bit slower than other places. So how do you, Ryan, explain away the worry that moms and grandmas are mm -hmm. feeling? How do you explain the idea that these 20-somethings are just taking a minute and taking right. their time. Yeah, well, I think the big part is, like I said, is they're not dismissing marriage. They yeah. want to get married. They still see the value in lifelong commitment. They, in fact, in many ways, they idealize. What my research has been showing is that they idealize marriage in such a way even more so than their parents. They want to find that person that's going to make them happy. They want to be in a lifelong committed relationship. And so this fear that my young adult, my single young adult is never going to want that, never going to want to settle down. It's not really there. It's it, the, Really, the issue is how they're going about it in their 20s that's causing a lot of these issues we're seeing. Although, in reading over your notes, I saw a catch that jumped out to me. They want it. They don't feel it's necessary. Right. Explain that. Yeah, that's one of the big changes is that a generation or two ago, marriage was needed. That's uh, You have to do that. It's something that was expected of you. It was culturally expected. And now our rising generation of millennials, they don't feel that anymore. They, they don't feel like you have to get married. It's more of a personal choice, and so they want it. It's seen as a want, but it's not seen as a need. And what that means is that with a want, I don't have to do it on a certain timetable. I don't have to do it just because my parents want me, because society wants to, me to do it. I can do it whenever it feels right to me. How realistic are millennials about marriage? <laughs> they are very unrealistic, unfortunately. This is one of the issues that we're seeing with the millennial generation, is that they have this perception. In fact, one of the things I've been telling and, and teaching people about is that millennials talk about marriage, but they're talking about a very different type of relationship. They're talking about a type of marriage that's gonna make them happy all the time. Mm -hmm. They expect that marriage is gonna be this magical, soulmate-based relationship where you're finding that perfect person and they're gonna make you happy and satisfied all the time. One of the biggest fears of millennials is that they'll have an unhappy marriage. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, we know that in, realistically in a marriage relationship, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there'll be days, weeks where you're not completely blissfully happy all the time. Right, right. And they're worried about that and they don't approach marriage the same way as we have before. Is there anything then we can do as parents, as mentors, as family members to help maybe give a more realistic expectation while still yeah. promoting marriage? Right, and, what, and exactly as you just said, Brook realistic expectations is the big piece. One of the things that millennials don't get a lot of times is these good realistic ideas that marriage is something that takes time and it takes effort. And this is another issue with millennials when it comes to marriage is that they're feeling so many anxieties about jobs, about education. They want relationships to be the easy thing in their life. And so mm -hmm. sometimes we have to teach them that relationships aren't easy mm -hmm. every day. It mm -hmm. takes work, it takes effort, but like anything else, you put a lot of effort and work into your career, you get benefits long term. Relationships are the same way. You put things into your marriage, you're going to get things out of your marriage. Do young adults feel competent? Do they feel capable to marry? Do they have the skill set that they feel is needed right. to make this work? Not, be, not the way they think about marriage. Again, because they think marriage sure. is going to be this perfect relationship that's going to make them happy, they, they feel worried and anxious about it, just like they do with a lot of things in their life. Um, they know they have buzzwords, right? One of the buzzwords that millennials use is they want to be mature mm. before they get married, mm. but they're not sure what that means. Right? You ask a millennial, what does it mean to be mature? And they'll give you a hundred different answers. Um, they know that communication is important, but they don't really know what that means. How do I resolve conflict? And so one of the things we can certainly do as parents is to teach our kids these good communication, conflict resolution skills. How, how do you negotiate that 
in a relationship? How do you negotiate disagreements mm -hmm. in a relationship? A lot of young adults don't feel like they know, so they have those skills in the business, career, education, right. friendship world but not necessarily in the relationship world. One big takeaway from your research, from your experience, is that millennials are getting the message. This is one area I think parents and mentors and family members can step up. They're getting the message that marriage isn't the important thing. Right. Is yes. that a negative? It, well, it is in a little, it feeds into some of these things we're talking about. And this is an inadvertent message that a lot of parents are sending. Because a lot of parents, we know the economy has been struggling for college graduates. And so for a lot of parents, they're sending this very clear message to their kids, go to college get an education, go to a technical school, get a certificate, uh -huh. get your life on track from a career standpoint. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with marriage, but what the millennials are internalizing is, okay, what mom and dad are telling me is this is the number one priority in my life. Go get an education, get a good job, get career on track. Another thing parents are saying is have fun, mm -hmm, travel. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to do that when I was in my 20s, mm -hmm. so go take trips, go have fun. And all of those messages together send this implicit message to our kids in their 20s that marriage is, on, is last on the list. So we're kind of talking out of both sides of our mouth. Right. We're saying travel, mm -hmm. get a career, all great things, right. and we're saying, why aren't you married? Right. That this, can be frustrating, I'm sure, for young adults. Exactly, and this is why I called my book The Marriage Paradox, because <laughs> millennials have all these paradoxes ideas they said I want to get married yeah. and mom wants me to get married but mom also wants me to get a college education I can't do both at the right. same time right. and so they're struggling trying to make sense of all these things where we've given now people in their 20s more choice than they've ever had before mm -hmm. and in some ways they're kind of drowning in it trying to figure out how do I sort and prioritize all these things do you feel concerned as you study the research you've written the book on mm -hmm. it do you feel concerned as you look at the projection of marriage where commitment and relationships are going my, my concern goes back to those realistic expectations as a relationship expert I want to make sure that when people make that decision to marry, regardless of when it is, that they have the skills in place to have a healthy and long-term relationship with their spouse. And the concern is, is that with a lot of millennials, with these perceptions they have of, I want to find my soulmate, I want to find the mm -hmm. perfect person mm -hmm. that's never going to make me unhappy, mm -hmm. we know that doesn't lead to long-term success. And so that's where a lot of my concerns are, is to make sure that we're teaching those millennials those skill sets that they need to have that healthy relationship whenever they make that transition. Really insightful. Brian, thank you so much. Where can we get more information on your book? Um, book is on Amazon. You can search it and find it there. The Marriage Paradox by yes. Brian Willoughby. Thank you so much.